All right, guys, so you're here in the training camp. You've seen what I've done. On a usual day, the day starts out like this. I get up, start shaking out the cobwebs a little bit, thinking about what my day's about to be. First and foremost, we're gonna be throwing some hands. So I sit there and I'm like, all right, I gotta hit up my boxing coach, Zach Attack. Zach Attack is known as the WBO champ. He's won fights against Roger Mayweather, Juan Laperta, guys that are were gonna be up and comers and Zach had put him away. He's not only just a great boxing coach, but also a great athlete. He had the record for most punches thrown and landed in a single fight. So to get my hands moving, my combinations going, my footwork going, I need him in my corner. I need to wake up and know that I'm gonna be able to be active, be able to get my feet moving, Throwing punches and bunches, because that's our Hispanic lifestyle, right? Rolling with the punches and punching in bunches. That's how we attack, and that's how our offense goes going off. So after that first session's done, you know, I get to wipe my hands off. I'm getting ready. I'm in the car. We're driving to Huntington Beach. Down at Huntington Beach is the Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center. And it, it's the Ultimate Training Center for one reason, one reason only, and that's Tiki Gosen. He's kept fighters like me that he's been able to bring to life and find and find diamonds in the rough right and uh he has truly been inspiring in my career and he's been real like let's 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 all be real right like we need that someone in the corner that's going to tell you what you're doing wrong what you're doing right that you know these certain things shouldn't be in your lifestyle because who you are as a person so that's what my mindset is walking into those doors, is knowing I'm about to get the harsh truth, the hard truth, and nothing but the truth uh, when I walk into those doors, whether I wanna hear it or not, right? But we all need to hear it when you're holding yourself accountable. And that's the main thing with this practice, going in there, lacing everything up. We're lacing up MMA gloves, shin pads, and now we're working the whole game plan now. From this point, we're pretty much gonna be rehearsing the fight, but in real time. And those are with our training partners. Right now I got Keohe Hagiawa out here, and he's been truly a blessing in disguise, right? Um, Cause he's giving me my exact look that I need, uh, who I'm gonna be fighting against my opponent. And no better else person to have in there than Paul Herrera, who wrestled at Nebraska, who had, you know, fought in the UFC. Him and Tiki have both fought in the UFC. So I'm around guys that are fighters, right? Like it's not like I'm around guys that are just technicians on the pads that don't really adjust or listen to what I have to say on why I think I need to make this adjustment because we communicate through there. We're able to talk through situations because they've been in those situations before. They might not like fight like me, but they also know what it is to go to the end. So, uh, you know, Throughout that training camp, the main thing is getting my head right, right? Like they constantly remind me, no one beats you but yourself. And as many athletes could tell you, that's true 100% of the time. When you're going out there and you're worried about the wins and losses, you're beating yourself. And so one thing that I'm constantly reminded from them is that you're going out there to perform. Remember, who gives a shit about if you win or lose? You're gonna go out there and you're gonna have the best night of your life. And that starts with this practice right here, putting everything together. It's mixed martial arts. I'm putting boxing, wrestling, jujitsu, ground and pound, you know, little street fights in there, you know, like the little close contact. Sometimes you got a foot stomp, sometimes you got an elbow, sometimes you're snapping down, you know, you gotta have head position where it's almost a headbutt, but you gotta work those through those little situations. And that room, I had countless rounds with guys like TJ Dillashaw, Cub Swanson, Aaron Pico, Chito Vera, and I mean, the list goes on. That, that's why when I go into there, I know I'm, I'm, I'm putting my work boots on, so to speak, right? These are my work boots when I step onto those mats because it's game time when you go in there. Otherwise, you're gonna end up on the wrong side of the stick. And I've ended up there a couple of times and it ain't fun, let me tell you, you know? But you work through those situations as well because not every day is gonna be the day you shine, right? A lot of times to cap the night off, I need to go to Gracie Baja and that's in Irvine, that's the headquarters where we work with Felipe Del Monica. He's our, he's our um, head coach for our grappling and uh, we're about to get it in tonight. Work everything we're gonna be doing for the fight. So we have a special practice tonight where it's gonna be me and Kale and him. We're gonna be working for game planning and working everything like that. So let's get it. Ready, go guys. He 
is an all-star, guys. He has literally changed the game for me when it came to grappling. He's really good at gauging my energy when I walk through the door. I mean, for me, he's 100% energy every time I meet him. He has a smile on his face. He's happy to see me. He's warm. He's welcoming. He gives me a big hug. He's like, hey, let's get it, baby. Let's go. He's always fired up. And, and sometimes going in there, I am down, right? Like I'm like, man, this is my fourth workout today. I'm about to uh, see what I got left. But the fuel he gives me, the energy that he promotes to me is just incredible. I've, I've never had it as a, as a coach and a training partner like him. That's why I love going there with him. I mean, every day that I get a chance to, I'm driving there and I know it's going to change my mood. I come home, I get a better night's sleep knowing that I've worked every position that I can when it comes down to grappling. Juan is doing a great job. I met him uh, quite a few years ago, uh, him and uh, TJ Dillashaw, when they came in here. I don't know, man, probably six years or more. You know, it's very nice to watch him grow and like uh, and get better every day and be one of the best of the world right now and uh, his training is going great he works harder than anybody else he's, al he's almost the opposite you got to tell him to stop training because he trains so much and uh, for me it's an honor to be able to train a guy on this caliber and his level and uh, very happy with his performance the way he's training so we're looking for making great things happen in Japan so I get muscle fatigue a little bit yeah, from today, you know, but you just got pushed through some of these like little knickknacks, right? Like uh, you got to learn to work around things that are aggravated. And so that's what's good about today. Like no explosion, but you got to be super technical. And that's what today was about. Making sure I know how to work through and work around things that are aggravated. And, you know, you, you, it's a different challenge, but champions find a way to get through it. And. That's what I had to do today, find a way to get through it. It's fun. Oh yeah, it's strong. <laughs> yeah, doggy. Time to go home and get some sleep. Sleep time. Oh yeah. <laughs> All training every day now for like this. This? Yeah, yeah like today. Uh, today, uh, very. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, many guillotines. You gotta fight hands. Yeah. <laughs> Good training. Yeah, very good training. That is it. Tacos? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> tacos. Tacos and burritos from. <laughs> <laughs>